Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. From Harlem in New York City on election night, it's the Rambo, and I'm Alex. This is coverage of the Great American Erection, covering the hard choices with up-and-coming results as they arise. We'll look at all the polls with hard analysis and stiff figures. The Great American Erection coverage. When erection results come, we'll speak them at you. From the erection headquarters of the Great American Broadcast, here's Alex Bennett. Well, thank you so very much, and welcome to our fine little program here that we're doing a special election night broadcast, uh, which I thought would probably wind up being happier than it is right now, but still, the evening is, it's still alive, okay? Anyway, uh, here we are in our election central, you figured. It's the cheap version of what everybody else is doing. Uh, let me see here. Let me uh, let me uh, do a few little things here. Get a few little things all set up. Uh, and um, I don't know how many people are going to be calling tonight. And since there's nothing coming on after me and nothing going on before me or whatever, I can get off. I can do as much time as I want to, or as little time as I as I want to. Uh, if you've been watching, you're probably not happy with what you're seeing. Um, it's, uh, it's too close to call in Wisconsin, for instance. It's uh, too close to call in Georgia, although Trump seems to be predominating in Georgia. Uh, North Carolina, uh, it's still too early to call, and... Uh, too early to call. They've got 84% of the vote in. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and they're tied in Arizona. And what's happening? Uh, Kamala, uh, well, anyway. Um, Harris has 91 vote of electoral college votes, and Trump has 210. Now, he's running out of states he can win, okay, uh, it, it, the states that uh, first were reported were all the states that uh, basically that he he could easily win. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. He's still got, uh, well, let's see here, two, well, 270, whatever. Anyway, he's got a while to go. So, uh, And so does she, a long way to go. Hmm. Not a happy night. Anyway, let me um, let me admit some people here, uh, and uh, we'll see uh, who they are. And we got Charlie Wallace, and we got Richard Braun. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, and let me just. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. I guess I already have these guys up already. Okay. Uh, hello to everybody. How are you this evening? Nervous time. Hmm? Nervous time. Nervous Looking time. Virginia, and it's it's very close. Uh, they both they counted so far. Yeah. With Kamala just ahead. Yeah. Okay. You but know. Uh, but the thing I was seeing was that uh, I don't know if it'll hold up, but the num there's a number of votes that went for Tim McCain, and a number of votes that went for Hung Kao, who was running against him, mm -hmm. Republican. And Trump got as many as Hung Kao, but Kamala got less than um, than Cain, yeah. which means that there are Democrats who are ambivalent about voting for a woman. Voting, yeah, voting, I think that, her, I, or maybe I, they blew to a third party. I think that's it. But I've also come up with other theories on this. I came up with a theory last night that if she was not doing well. 
The reason why she doesn't do well and didn't do well is she wasn't paying attention to the right people. Let me explain this. Uh, there are a whole bunch of people in America who people don't really think that much about, but Trump embraced them. And, and think about the people who live in the Ozarks. Think about the hillbillies. Did, did Kamala go after them or court them at all? Or did she court those fringe people out there who always feel that they're being left out? and that Trump seemed to represent their needs. Does that make sense? Maybe. Hmm? Well, the, the, the important statement is, seems to. Hmm. Trump doesn't represent their needs. No, no, he no. Just, we're, 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 we, yeah. You and I both know that, okay? Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't have even have, you, we don't have an argument between us. But what I'm saying is, they don't feel that they're being, you know, she never courted them in any way because she doesn't understand them. She doesn't know them. But Trump just fakes his way and makes and pretends like he cares about those people. But basically, it's the disenfranchised who went with Trump, and she should have made them feel a little more part of the party, but she didn't. And she didn't go to those states and I think, quite frankly, to be honest with you, I think you got to go out and go everywhere. You know, there was one president I remember, I can't remember who he was. One guy was running for president who said, I'm going to visit every state in the union. And he did. Uh, you know, I mean, do you think we feel left out in New York? Absolutely. You know, uh, do you feel uh, out in California? How do you feel, Len? Do you feel left out? They have no interest in coming out here because it's a foregone conclusion that it's a blue state. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. Well, you know? it wasn't when Reagan was running, so yeah, no. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All I'm saying is, is that I think that Kamala was forgetting a certain amount of the populace that maybe she should have embraced. Instead, she was going mm -hmm. after the students, and she was going after the college educated, and she was going after a good quality bunch of people. But these aren't the morons that are allowed to vote, okay? Yeah. And, and that's what we've got going here. Now, she hasn't necessarily lost yet. She, oh, may, no. she may, may well win this, you know, but mm -hmm. she's got to take Pennsylvania. She's going to get California, for mm -hmm. instance. Yeah. Uh, she's going to get uh, Oregon. She's probably going to get Washington. You know, so right there she's got 80 votes, you know, 80 electoral votes. Mm -hmm. Uh, she yeah. gets Pennsylvania. She gets a few other things. Mm -hmm. She can pull it out. In a way, we should have been warned that this wasn't going to look good in the beginning because mm -hmm. all the states that are being counted right now are like those southern redneck idiot yeah. people who think that Trump is going to do well by them. Well, he did so He did so well for them last time, right? All those people became yeah. rich. Did right. They, did they become rich? <laughs> not, not Mississippi no. and Alabama. Not Mississippi and Alabama. No. I, I, I just don't. I don't get how they they you know make America great again. He had his four years, and they're still poor. <laughs> I don't right, get it. Yeah. I mean, do, do you think do you think they 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 flipped the switch to Kamala too too late? Did they not? Let you know they just flipped it to her and not really give the Democrats a chance to see who would be the best person to run. Do you know something? I think that she was as good a person as any other, yeah. except for the yeah. fact that I think it was men in this country, if anybody, who was ditching her presidency. Yeah. Uh, because men uh, have this idea oh, well, we don't want a female as prep. What? Haven't the men fucked it up enough? Don't you think it's about time yeah. to let the women fuck it up for a while? D didn't Slayton have a joke about women running the country? And he said all the, the ladies who just dismantled it, you know, all the around the world. Yeah. yeah well, I, I don't mean, know how any I don't know how any woman, black individual, Hispanic individual could vote mm -hmm. for Donald Trump. I don't understand it. I just don't. I'll give you the answer. Okay. <laughs> This country sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, it began to look like it. Listen, make sure I, you get a 
make sure you get a really nice place in Paris, uh, and, uh, uh, well, Alex, because we're, well, we're coming to visit. <laughs> well, we uh, we were in a ho very fancy hotel the first time, days we were there. Uh, <laughs> we have to come back and get our clothes. You know, bullshit. Oh. Don't buy more clothes. Don't buy more clothes. Screw it. I'll pick them up on the way. Yeah, pick right. them up on the way. Yeah. No, yeah. what I'd like to get, uh, you know, of course, the question is, how long can I live in any of these places? But I'd really like to get a house in some place like uh, like Italy or Spain or whatever, and yeah. be able to move there. And, Tuscany, huh? Tuscany. Tuscany. Yeah. Uh, what's the other place I heard about that's near Tuscany that's supposed to be really spectacular? It's more no, ancient. No. My family's from Lucca, which is right next to Pisa, and that's a, like a fortress city. And that one's that place is really beautiful. You know, absolutely I, gorgeous. Well, you're Italian, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. yeah well, my mom's you, Well, yeah. you know that you immediately could go over there and become a uh, a citizen without even yep. having to do anything, and you can own property and everything else because people who have uh, um, Italian heritage. Heritage, yeah. Yeah, you, you don't you don't think I've looked into it? I absolutely have. I, I don't think my McLaren will fit down the down the streets though. <laughs> well, you There's know, you, you could buy a bicycle. You know, it's just you know, make sure it's an expensive bicycle, but a bicycle nonetheless. There you go, McLaren no, bike. I'm I'm if if she loses tonight, I've Jeez. given I've. My lack of faith in this country that I've had all my life mm -hmm. is being justified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, the, I, I listened to this podcast and he was talking, they talk a lot of different things, but he was talking about politics and he was saying, he was saying a 85% chance, 86% chance that, that Trump will die in office because of his age and his yeah. BMI count. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Oh, this, I, this guy, this guy worked. Yeah, this guy worked for insurance companies. Mm -hmm. He would work for insurance companies and take the those certain tests that they would take, and then yeah. he would come up with when they were going to die. And this guy was so accurate. Wow, I I think he could die, and then, and then we're stuck with Vance for for eight yeah. years. Well, you know something, Vance, because he, I don't know if he knows how to be president. Okay, and I don't know if he knows how to. Uh, uh, be a pain in the ass when he's president. I mean, he, he just isn't smart enough, right? So, he's in over his depth. There's yeah, no question yeah, about so it. Yeah, so I think he so would probably him. not do much of anything because he'd be afraid to do anything, you know? Trump, on well, the I other hand, for the first... He's going to do whatever these donors tell him to do. Trump is going to mm. spend the next four years getting even. Yep. 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 100%. I think her biggest problem was all she really had was about three months. Yeah. You know all something? Done. That's all you need, and that's all we should, no, I think, we should allow yeah. anybody to do. Because in every other yeah. country in the yeah. world, the election cycle is about two months. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ted Cruz came back. I think her back. biggest problem was embracing the Cheneys. She turned off a hell of a lot of Democratic voters. By saying how great it was that Lynn Cheney and especially Dick Cheney endorsed. Mm -hmm. Do you think she lost yeah. people over that? Yeah. Dick Cheney's a war criminal. Who wants him on their side? Hey, I'll take any <laughs> any, any war criminal I can get, you know. <laughs> That's fine. Take his his vote or whatever, but don't go out and, and campaign with him like she did with Liz Cheney. Mm. Mm. That turned off everybody. Seeing her. Liz Cheney's probably going to be in her cabinet if she manages to win. And Liz mm -hmm. Cheney voted 100% for everything Trump wanted to do while he was in office. About 90%, but that's okay. Yeah, well, but, I, but I, think, I think she became, we have to give her a certain amount of credit for being brave. I agree. Yeah. You know, I mean, she turned on her party and said, this guy isn't good for you, and I'm not going to stand by and let it happen. I mm -hmm. have to, you know, and quite frankly, I think her father was probably patting her on the back for that mm -hmm. because, you know, oh. as bad as you think Dick Cheney is, as bad as you think Liz Cheney is, they do believe in a democracy, mm -hmm. you know? 
Mm-hmm. And, and, and they do believe in the presidency as being a dignified job. Okay. Yeah. So th- that being the case, um, uh, you know, you've got to you got to hand it to them for saying, okay, but we're we we can't take this guy Trump because he's ruining the party that we know and love. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be making any difference. He got elected once, almost got elected the second time, and may get elected the third time tonight. The way things are going. Well, he's had far mm-hmm. too many chances, you know, and yeah. Um, you know, he did warn us that uh, this uh, this uh, 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 presidency, this uh, campaigning, uh, was going to be fixed. So if he wins, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was he was just warning everybody so he had something to say later. Of course, idiot. Yeah, and it's well, only going to get worse because for the first time in Florida. They had a state that had that uh, abortion rights on the on the ballot, and it lost. And the only reason it lost was because they changed the rules, so they had to get a sixty percent instead of instead oh. of 50. they got fifty percent wow. to forty two percent, and that's a loss. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because they changed the rules. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, what are we going to do? You know, I mean, uh, I just, I just, this makes, see, even if, as I said, even if, um, if uh, Kamala wins, there's still going to be almost 50% of this country that voted for Donald Trump. And what does that sure. say about this country? Mm-hmm. You know, our education system sucks. Well, you know, I grew up in a in a time when, uh, eh, well, to begin with, Roosevelt was president when I was born, and wow. uh, he had been going. In, I think he got into his third term and was going into his fourth. You know, um, so I didn't know I didn't know him very well. But then I was there here for Truman, and then I was here for Eisenhower, who well, was a nice guy, but he wasn't a very good president. Um, and then we got to LBJ after Kennedy, who I really kind of liked. I thought he, you know, he did a lot of great things when he was president. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and I've lived through a lot of them, and even the worst of them, I mean, like a, like a Nixon or a Reagan, uh, I had to admit were, um, you know, at least believed in America. They believed, yeah. They would have never put up with this from any politician. There was a certain dignity in running, you know, and there's never been, I never remember anybody calling people names. I remember them saying, well, don't vote for the other side because they don't have a good grasp of the economy or whatever, you know. But, I mean, here it was, he's threatening people. If you're you're looking at it from a European point of view, um, then you're going to say, America's not serious about leading the world. When, when, right. when he was there, you could see that um, Biden, through the State Department, was and, and other departments were communicating with other countries and giving them best practices for avoiding corruption, for fighting ISIS, for um, handling AI. Mm-hmm. These were um, um, like themes through the uh, through all the relations with countries that we could deal with. And yeah, we're we're uh, negotiating with them one one on one. If you want to withdraw back into America, America against the world, um, didn't you say you lived out? Those, didn't you say you lived out of the country for a while? I lived in France. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But they don't. They have their own political problems too with the nationalists and Germany too. Yeah, um, you know it's 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 a it's a dicey balance. There's a middle there that. Uh, uh, that that is strong though. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a, there are eleven parties, and three, four of them are sort of in the middle. <laughs> yeah, they wind up they wind up finding a coalition on the right or on the left to to pass to pass bills. Yeah, but uh, I was thinking about Switzerland instead of France, mm-hmm. and they because they speak they have uh, English as a you know yeah. Uh, uh, Official language, along with yeah. French and German. Right, right. Yep. But my question is, I mean, how long can I go to? How long can I go to Switzerland and live? 
Probably at least six months. At least six yeah, months. Yeah, it's 180 days. Yeah, it's 180. You probably step out of the Shenzhen zone, go back, and 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 then come back to another country, and you know, start six months again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they. I can't just keep. Uh, you know, applying. Well, you, you can apply for a certain type of visa that will allow you to stay. You're, you're a special case because you're you're a uh, an internet somebody. No, I'm somebody. <laughs> I'm, I'm not an internet you're anybody. <laughs> Trump, <laughs> Trump, head, Trump headquarters. <laughs> Trump headquarters. They keep showing him dancing on the loop. <laughs> yeah. Doing his blowjob dance. <laughs> Doing his little blowjob dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They keep showing him on the big screen. <laughs> No, you mean with the with the hands? I guess. Yes. Yeah. Jerking <laughs> two guys off. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know. It's over. Amy, what happened to Amy? She was there. She's here. Yeah. Is, is she Where here? Are you? I don't see her picture there, though. That's the only she problem. She moved. <laughs> hmm. Well, anyway, are you there, Amy? No. She's I, on mute. She must have gone. Must have gone on mute or something. Yeah, you know, I mean, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen tonight? I mean, this could be the close one they talked about, you know. <clears throat> well, Trump, Trump complained last time that he went to bed. Remember, he said, oh, I went to bed and I was ahead and then I woke up and then I lost. Right. He complaining about that. So it could well, be like it again. This could happen, too. And Wisconsin yeah. is too close to call. They're about, it is. they're about a percent apart at, with 57% of the vote mm. in. Not liking what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm watching the mm. New York Times. They say um, Trump has an 87% chance of winning. Mm -hmm. and, you know, this is dynamic. Mm. And mm. Uh, he will he might get 300 to Harris's 238. But there's mm. a range of plus... 20 or 30 around each one. Yeah, so, well, I I saw the Times did that, you know, and it's all based, it's also based on polls as well. It's not sure. just based on uh, on what's happening right now, you know. Yeah, I think it takes more time to, ha uh, to handle the, um, the mail-in votes, which likely lean Democrat, and that's what happened last time. Yeah. That's why Pennsylvania blew up on, on him, uh, on Trump uh, yeah. last time. How are they doing in Pennsylvania right now? You know what? I, I, can I say I, something? I think they're still voting. It's still yeah. too close to call. Ted Cruz won. Jeez, he was losing early. Man. I can't believe Texans are that. The man showed he doesn't give a crap about ordinary Texans when he got on that plane to go to Cancun. Well, what more uh, do let's, they be, need? let's be honest. If America is stupid, Texas is, grass, uh, is uh, ground zero. Brown, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got Boddicker <laughs> on there, too. <laughs> I, I know. I got some nice guys here, which if they want to come, like Amy and, and Scott and uh, Charlie, uh, you know, coming out to New York, I got a room here. You know, you don't have to live <laughs> in Texas. Uh, you know. Well, Are there any vacancies in your uh, apartment complex? Oh, I'll yeah. Buy one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his whole apartment. If Trump wins, if you're willing to pay yeah. New York, yeah. if you're willing to pay New York rates, because I was I, gonna say, most of us can't afford it. Yeah, no, an apartment in this building well, will run you anywhere between five and seven thousand dollars a month. Well, if if Trump wins, my son and daughter-in-law most likely will move to Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we just got my in-laws here. Uh, 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 we're here. We're here in Denton until they go. Yeah. Well, if you know anybody in in Texas who needs to get an abortion, I have a room here, and we can put them up <laughs> while they go get an abortion in New York. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Now get somebody ten thousand. Yeah, yes, uh, really Charlene. Wires. And you're looking quite lovely tonight. What did you dress up for the election? Yeah. <laughs> so Alex, I like your uh, backdrop. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you guys are depressing me now because I got excited a little bit and now I'm getting upset. But, you know, they keep saying that Texas is going to go blue. There's no way it's going to go blue, no, right? No, no. That's what no. I thought. Not unless we We're, can get some voter turnout. The voter turnout no, is the, way The low. only way Texas will go blue if you, is if you strangle them all. Right. right, right. <laughs> Kentucky. 
they went for Trump, you know. I thought Georgia went for Trump, but then it changed, and now... We didn't you know, even get rid of Cruz. It, it it doesn't even look like we got rid of Cruz. No. That's no. disgusting, no. yeah. They were um, projected them to... I feel so bad for you guys. I do, like Alex said, you know. Yeah. I, you guys I take... are nice people. I, I feel so bad you have to live there. <laughs> yes. Well, it... But, but, and I, hold, I mean, hold on a second. Alan has his hand up. I just want to say that it's eight o'clock. Polls are closing in Pacific Standard Time, and a lot of those polls are going to be blue. Oh, yeah. yeah of course. course. Yeah. Of yeah, course. Yeah. But it, oh, 87, 87 votes. Well, there's 87 votes if you go right down the coast. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, California is what? How many? Uh, 54. 54, yeah. and then the others are 20, so it's about 74. Uh, so, you know, she'll get those, and... Uh, yeah. Not even the 200 yet. Hmm? Uh, not even the well, 200 yet. Yeah. What we have to worry about is Nevada and Arizona. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arizona's a big one, yeah. It's too tight. Well, Arizona looks like it might go for her. Uh, New Mexico, oh, I think, okay. has. Um, I'm gonna, it, it's, I'm gonna it's amazing that two states can be that close to each other and be that different politically. Mm -hmm. You would Just think that, California for Kamala. You know, I, I yeah, heard. Yeah, what a shocker. And polls just closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they give it, they give it to Cal, give it to her. Yeah, too early to call. Projected winner. The close polls just closed in California. Yeah, yeah. Idaho. Well, too early, it says. Yeah. Okay, so Idaho, he's projected the winner. Uh, Idaho. Yeah. Idaho. Idaho. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you any know. chance of Texas? Hmm. No. no. Oh, Texas okay. win? Oh, no. No, we. Uh, we were hoping that we might get rid of Cruz, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen either. Well, you know, you almost got your um, uh, the oh no, was it a, no? It was in Florida where they had a, on the on the uh, a ballot uh, to get rid of uh, the thing abortion. against abortion clinics. Okay, to make abortion legal, yeah. to do away with mm. that particular piece of legislation they had. But in order to do it, they had to do it with 60% of the votes, and they're at yep. 57 right now. That's Charlie said, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So now it's 179 to 214. They must have called. Yeah, because California. Was California. Call right there, yeah. Washington, Washington, California, and Colorado. Colorado, yeah, they called. They just called Colorado. Well, you see, but for, Trump, uh, Trump hasn't got <coughs> many more states that he can grab. If he grabs Pennsylvania, it's, he's won it. It's over. Yeah, that's like, what North they're saying. Right, right. Pretty North much Carolina. Like Pennsylvania is president. But yeah, how many is Pennsylvania? Nineteen. 19. Yeah. You know what bothers me though is I'm watching this coverage. They are doing such a terrible job of it. And I'm going to tell you yeah. why. To begin with, there's so much crap on the screen that you can't tell who's oh, doing yeah. what when. Okay. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're looking at something and it looks like she won in, uh, well, I don't know, in Missouri or something. And then it turns out Biden did and they're showing Biden's face there. Yeah. yeah. Well, why are they go back to 2020? I don't, I don't yeah, want to know way. how Biden did in that state. Yeah. yeah. That and was they, over they, with already. Yeah. One time they even said the time. They said last time at this time it was 930, but this is what the what the count was. And But now it's 1030 and this is what the count is. I'm like, who cares about the time from last time? Yeah. Who cares about oh my we're, God. We're, we're, we're doing this election? And then they, yeah. they, uh, then I, I went over to MSNBC and I just couldn't take it. First, you mm -hmm. had Rachel Maddow, who I can't stand, <laughs> and then secondly, you've got that Steve Kornacki, who just <laughs> drives me crazy. Uh, Steve Kornacki is trending on Threads because everybody says he, it's like he's on uh, speed that he's. Mm -hmm. No, but he's, he's just, he's just, he's a, I can't stand him, but I can't, can't stand that whole bunch. So I went over to NBC Now, where at least they had Lester Holt and they had Savannah Guthrie and a few other people like that. 
a lot easier. And Tom Yamas doing the uh, the big board with the numbers. Much easier to take. Much easier to take. Um, but uh, it was just, I thought the coverage has just been terrible. Just terrible. Yes, as Mr. Braun. I had to listen, sit and listen, because I, I don't have satellite radio in my car. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to NPR as I'm waiting in line to turn in all the ballots and stuff that all the judges stuff you have to turn in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm hearing him interview the Vec Ramaswamy and mm -hmm. I, it just was making me crazy. Yeah. I finally I think, just turned I it think off. It's terrible. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. Um, Mr. Braun, you didn't uh, John King on CNN uh, do do that shtick of county by county before Karnacki did it. I, I, I think he did it better, you know, when oh. he was explaining county by county. Uh, that, that's that's Kar Karnacki's thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that only thirty percent of the votes in that county, but he just fills you with too much, you know. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't, I don't mind Steve Karnacki, and I like Rachel Maddow, but. Uh, I haven't seen any of it because I just got home because I've been working the polls all day long and I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want my grandchildren to have to be born in Oregon. So I sure hope we pull this shit out. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to see my grandchildren born without having to take a, a month off and, you know, yeah, it's been a long year, right. one generation. But he, it's not safe to be pregnant in the state of Texas anymore. <laughs> no, no, it's no. not. I, and and my soon-to-be daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. as of Saturday this mm -hmm. week, mm -hmm. um, she has had problems her whole life. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as that, you know, her reproductive organs go. So. They would if if they even if there's even a hint of her being pregnant, they're moving immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not safe here. Mm -hmm. You can't have a miscarriage here. Your no. life is in danger. Right. 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 You know, because the only way they prove whether it was threatening the life of the mother is when she dies. Yeah. Oh, she should have had the abortion. Sorry about that. Mm. Wow. Yep, it's uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Uh, and and you know, unfortunately, you're going to have to put up with it. You know, um, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean, it's it's a shame that people have to deal with. Uh, uh, um, you know, deal deal with that to begin with. If he gets in within 18 months, there will be an abortion ban in the entire country. The entire country. Yeah. yeah. The whole country will be like Texas. Mm -hmm. The whole country will be like Especially Texas. Now it's yeah. looking like we're going to lose the Senate. Yep. Yeah. God. Listen, listen I mean, it, it, this country is going to be hell for the next four years. And then, yeah. of course, all those people that voted for Trump are going to go, well, we, we, we made a mistake. Well, let's go back to the Democrats. Yeah, they'll, <laughs> never say that. Little, little, they'll never say that. They will. We they keep they going will. back and forth every four years. Every four years yeah. they change their minds. They don't like well, anybody who's in office. You think they're going to like him any better? I'm going to tell you why. Four years ago, mm -hmm. they forgot COVID. This guy, they're voting for a tyrant. They want him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take an American. I turn my TV off. I'm embarrassed yeah. that there's people voting for this guy. And I, I remember I told you months ago, she's going to lose. I wish I was wrong. I said that. They won't vote for a woman. And I was right. I wish mm -hmm. I was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's because she's a woman. No, um, yes, it is. Uh, no, no. The, That's your opinion, but I'm just telling you. My, it's my opinion that it's not because she's a woman. Um, but, uh, well, the men, um, uh, it, it's all the, ca the Catholics, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. that are mostly the men in the Catholics that are anti-abortion, but a lot of the women mm-hmm. and a lot mm-hmm. of the evangelicals, it's it's all about abortion. And they it, they haven't figured out that you're killing women. I don't mm. think you're right about it being Catholics. I think you're. I think the more. I think because Mormons, you're going to say Alex. She, sorry, she, she's a woman. Period. Oh. That's, That's right. the That's reason why hurt. there are guys that just won't vote for a woman. And I'm going, what's wrong with you? You yeah. know, I mean, haven't guys screwed up this world enough? You mm-hmm. know. Let me ask Amy this question. Ready for this, Alex? Mm-hmm. Amy, if she would have gave a blowjob to a microphone on the mic three nights ago. How would that have flown over? Hey, yeah, okay. As uh, Van Jones said, he gets to be lawless and she has to be flawless. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, right? a, very, he, that's uh, a very good, very good, yeah. And, um, uh, the, the thing that gets me, this is what I said on Monday on my show. Um, if you saw... January 6th, a violent coup organized with white supremacist groups. And you saw all of these, even three more that came out, uh, sexual assault and rape. And all the quoting Hitler and praising Hitler and the, you know, let's throw back to 1939 Nazi rally. And you... We're still supporting him after all of that. And the quote Trump, then it was a low factor. Are, you are garbage. I'm sorry. If you watched no, all uh, of that. Uh, uh, let me put it this way. Garbage. Okay. Listen to the old guy here. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm 84 years old and going on 85. And when I was a kid, if anybody was running for president, tried any of this, he, he not only would uh, not win, he would never be allowed to run again. He right. Would be, it would be just be considered just wrong. And this Gary was, Hart. Gary yeah. Hart. You yeah, know right, what? He, right. he went out with a girl that wasn't his wife on the, uh, what was it? What was the name of that boat? The boat, yeah. There's a funny name for the boat. It was, uh, it's some like risky business yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Risky business? Yeah. Uh, uh, and I mean, you had other people who got themselves into trouble, and and I mean, hell, I mean, uh, uh, what's his name, um, uh, uh, Dukakis, lost the election because he looked funny in a tank. Yeah, and this, and this guy is a convicted, yeah, convicted felon. Right, it'll I mean, make history. The first president sure. that was a convicted felon, right? I told you, I'll vote for John Gotti if he was alive, I guess. They vote for him. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him back. The, you know right. I said it on the Monday show. They're working on an oval cell in uh, Rikers Island. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, why, he, he again. why are the women voting for him? That's what I don't understand. Because their husbands are making them do it or something, right? Well, or they're I mean, cheating on their husbands. I, I don't understand how any woman in this country could vote for him. Yeah, I mean, I forget about the abortion stuff, all of that. Just the way he refers to women, talks about yeah. women, acts about women, the complete disrespect mm-hmm. he has. For the, for the, the fact that he brags about sexually assaulting. Yeah. yeah. Even in a deposition, thought he had the right as yeah. a what, what more star. What, what more did these people <laughs> need that in the last couple of days they came up with tapes of Jeffrey Epstein yeah. saying for 10 years Donald Trump was my best friend mm-hmm. yes. oh I can't believe this country, really. Yeah, well. He's winning the fucking popular vote. That's what's disgusting. You know something? Yeah, yeah right? You may be surprised about this country, and my attitude is it only justifies what I've been thinking all these years. I'm in your camp. I was thinking it on the couch. I have no faith in him anymore, Alex. No. You know, and, and your fellow Americans pretty well ditched American democracy tonight. Yeah, you know they well, voted yeah. it out of existence. Not over till it's They're, over. It's not over yet, but you know if Trump wins, that's true. We've decided yeah. to vote for a dictatorship. Yeah. Uh, Wisconsin. And you know what I'm tied to? Wisconsin, you know what I'm tied to, Alex? 
Chris Christie said this. I'm going to quote him. He goes, you ever see when they say, well, Trump said this? Well, you can't take him serious. So then why should I take anything he says serious? Why should I make him president? I have to take him president seriously. Yeah, oh, I tell you, I'm going to start drinking tonight. I think. And I yeah, it's a good good time to start. <laughs> Me too. Well, actually, what, I said, what I said tonight. What I said tonight is drinking I, rum and Coca Cola. What I said. Yeah, what I, I said. Like <laughs> what I, I said. Be a Cooper Libra. I don't even have alcohol in the house. <laughs> what I said tonight was I was going to get a bottle of champagne, and if she won, I was going to drink it, and if he didn't win, I would sl- just gurgle it down. You know, as fast, <laughs> like as, fast as I could. You know. Yeah. Oh my God. Is it a safe bet that RFK, the maniac, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Like that. That. Pop, he's going to be in charge of yes. some type of medical thing. Just what I we need. That. That. He's going to give him. He's Love going, it. He's going to give we him. Don't... That's almost scary. Oh, it really is. Well, yeah. yeah. He's going to pull him he's into the. Uh, he's going to outlaw vaccines. But he's an anti vaxxer. We'll he's, bring he's, back chicken pox. Love yeah. No, he likes the he's on his team. No, but he's <laughs> going to uh, he's going to uh, be in charge of everything medical. Yeah. That's what we need to be. I might as well just do commit suicide now. <laughs> right, right. That nutcase, right? Well, I think I don't think he can give him all those jobs, to tell you the truth, because oh, he has probably. to be approved by the yeah. Congress. Well, if it's a Republican Congress, oh, then yeah. he'll yeah. get approved. Republican do what Senate. He wants. Yeah. Oh, good Good news, Charlie. Ted won the seat again. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. I was hoping he dropped dead tonight, too, when he won. That other right fuck that he is. <laughs> I think Hulk Hogan's going to be in charge of all education. Yeah, he's going to try to rip that shirt off again, but it was too strong for him. Right, he couldn't get his shirt to rip. <laughs> you dumb fuck. <laughs> Have another steroid. <laughs> yeah. You got one brain cell left. You might as well kill it. Yeah. Didn't this happen in 2020 where we thought Trump won, and a couple days later it wasn't Trump? No, didn't tw- oh no, that was when yeah. Biden won. My mother's spinning in her grave right now. I'm thinking yeah. it was the first time he won. That's what this is like oh. if he wins again. So in, I, I think in 2020, we thought that Trump was going to win. Jared yeah. Brown Biden. lost in Ohio. That's another sentence. He <laughs> Jared Brown lost. Oh no. Hmm. No. Oh, that's bad. The, the Republicans Jared? have gained. A they projected. They just projected that the uh, Republican in Ohio won. Oh, no. Another one? Yeah, she's she's a a Do you know he's winning the blue wall right now, every state? What? He is winning the blue wall, and he's leading in every state in the blue wall. Yep. Which he, yep. Michigan, oh, Wisconsin, yeah. and Pennsylvania right now. Yep. Yeah, yeah th- those, th- that's, those are, they're really too close to call for a reason. No, yeah. just because he's leading now, that's because all the rural counties have come yeah. in, the big cities yeah. are not. It's yeah, only thirty or forty. Right. Uh, also, the yeah. uh, the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The mail-ins also haven't been counted yet. I think. Yeah. And yeah. I heard Forward. something about they have until the eleventh of November. Some states to, like, you yeah. could still send it in if you didn't vote. You could still do it or something. Like, am I right about Obama's that? Kamala's moving up. Well, they've got a hundred points Senate seats. All they need is two more to, two more flips, and we're done. In the oh, Senate. Good. Yeah. What a shit night this is. Good thing I ate my yeah. food before this started, man. I, I was disgusted, Alex. I don't care because I'm 84, and how much longer do I have to live? Yeah, we'll make you like four more years, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know. What do you guys think the stock market's going to do tomorrow morning? It's up already preliminary. Not that it matters. He has nothing to do, but it's up about 400 points, I think. Well, that was His stock is up was after yesterday. hours, I heard Trump, uh, Alan. No, oh, Kamala has the Oregon. As what? Yeah, they called yeah. Oregon for Kamala. Yeah. yeah. And Vermont. Or uh, so the according to NBC, it's only a 69 point difference now that the West Coast is starting to jump. Yeah. Good. Oh, so she. It's it's one uh, 214 Trump to 145 Kamala. I got it's 179 a, on Kamala. I got 179 too, yeah. Yeah. That's it. yeah, 179. What's the Alex, way? I made a mistake. I'm put on Fox. Better. I see 153 for her. That's even better. Well, Depends on which channel you're watching. Yep. Right. Fox calls the states. I put them on for a couple of minutes. They call yeah. them right away. They don't care, I guess, after the lawsuits. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> 5% in, he won. Fucking Hannity's ready to have a fucking hard on right on the air. 
<laughs> a fucking dick, really. Well, you know, all I'm saying is, is that, you know, uh, I mean, I might live another, you know, 15 years for all I know, but you can uh, live me. But I have to go through, I have to go through, uh, I don't have to go through this. I'm, I'm thinking, first thing what? I'm thinking of doing is I'm talking to my business manager tomorrow about pulling all my money out of stocks. Put it in CDs. Yeah. You're getting 4% right now, Alex. Save yeah. 4%. Got to do something because uh, it is not. I don't think. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, Alex. No, this I guy. don't. I don't think he's going to be good for the stock market. Mm-hmm. You know. I, yeah. I'm just. I don't know where to go yet. The, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to cut the uh, uh, Fed rate on all the interest down to zero again, like he did last time. I don't think he can do that. How can he do that? He, he did it last time. Yeah, no, that's the, what the, it was. The, the, Mm-hmm. No, the, the first thing the he said he was going to do was get rid of all the uh, immigrants. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's he going to do that, too? Yeah, he okay. wants his money for us. He wants free money. Yeah, the first day, everybody's out. He's been saying <laughs> <that>. <laughs> day, but not he is something And he's, make, he's making the phone call to stop all of the wars. Right. Yeah, well, he's going to get the country up. Yeah, he's going to do something there. Yeah. At least. And it, it, isn't he going to announce his health plan that he's been trying to announce for the last nine years? Uh, it's well, concepts of the plan. He does He's got a concept. Yeah. In a short oh, period of yes. time. Yes. Mr. Brown. I can't believe we've yes. been having this conversation. In, I'll have everything fixed in a short period of time. <laughs> we'll be dead, then it'll be fixed. <laughs> You're dead. We'll now. become a Russian state soon. <clears throat> Well, yeah. if he if, if he could oh, do yeah. if he could do all the the not, the decent things he says he can do, then I would be for him. But he never does. Same it. one. See, that's it, Alex. I don't trust him. I was talking about it. This he doesn't do he anything. Put, he doesn't do anything. He's a lazy president. You know, he's all for himself. They keep saying he cares about him, not people. Right? She he's said looking, that. He's too. looking to create his legacy. He wants to be famous for the rest, you know, for all eternity. I think, that's all. I think be, if yeah, he wins, Kamala ought to not certify the election. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, yeah she, he could well be remembered. <laughs> she, 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 my be yeah. he, he could be well remembered as the person who brought America to its knees. I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And that I, would make him happy. I saw a post from Josh Gad that said, who else is watching the... The final season of the United States of America. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I felt she, I felt she was going to pull it off, you know, because I mean, you put the two against each other, and what do you come up with? I got to go with her, you know. Maybe me, she's not the best idea, you know. Maybe there are better ideas, but in the clinch, we got her, and she did a good job of running. She did a very good job of managing a, uh, a campaign. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. but there's one can't... thing she's missing. She doesn't have a rap sheet. If she had the rap sheet, would put her over there. <laughs> yeah. you know? Smoking like a true New Yorker. I like she, this guy. You gotta she, have that rap sheet. You gotta get at least the cuffs on you once, and then you're okay. Now, it, 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 it's she didn't demonize immigrants enough. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's really what it's all about. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, no, she didn't say she was going to deport 250 million people. To outlaw illegal immigrants and wouldn't let them work, kick them out of the state. The kind of the whole, all this fruit and everything. Yeah, was it's going to the people. Line, and nobody right. would, would. I mean, it destroyed the economy. They had to appeal, repeal those laws. Oh yeah, after he got in last time, that happened right away. Almost like right when they started messing around with everybody. Right. Who wants to pick the oranges in 100 yeah. degree heat? Not me. <laughs> you great. If he, if he, if Y'all, he I got to... some bad news. Uh, oh, it looks like Klobuchar is losing. Oh, really? Amy Klobuchar? Oh, no. Is that the one who cried too at the close, debate? Too early to call, but... Yeah. Oh, that, that, I'm not worried about that. You know who's happy tonight, Alex? Phil. Phil. Minnesota yet. <laughs> Phil. Don't say Phil. Phil. Don't say Phil. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Phil's Phil's happy Phil is <laughs> celebrating. Yeah. His the dick is dead, but Trump is in. <laughs> I forgot at, about Phil. <laughs> he's at. He's actually at a uh, a Republican thing away from his house. Is. Stay where. Jesus. Uh, it's okay. We, we don't in, really need to know. We're not that interested. <laughs> in where? In Petaluma? In Petaluma with his Petaluma. new girlfriend. They're getting dinner served by the migrants. Don't forget the tip, though. 
Nothing well, any like chance yeah. we had uh, we had of um, of uh, changing uh, Phil's mind uh, was ruined by him getting laid. Anyway, <laughs> I do have to say it doesn't work no more. Huh? I, can, I mean, mine never worked, but I mean, his is like the miracle of modern science. I guess. <laughs> I guess it is. I should have oh, so up on the express on the to be a virgin in order for devotion. I gotta ask Alex about these questions yeah. here. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, you know, I just, uh, I've never, I gotta tell you, from my earliest time of uh, growing up in this country, uh, mm -hmm. when I first saw what I saw when we had the House on American Activities subcommittee. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I suddenly realized that America wasn't all that it was uh, 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 claimed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was, it, I, I had a dislike for this country because it, it just never seemed to live up to what it said it was, you know? Uh, but nevertheless, you know, you can always hope and pray that things are going to get better and so on. And they're worse than they've ever mm -hmm. been now. You see, I asked my brother, Alex, is it bad? For, I feel so bitter. I don't know about you guys. Like, because I'm mad that people are voting for him. Am I more mad at the people? Are they, should I not take it out of them? Because maybe oh, they're not that. I don't want to sound condescending. You should be and very mad at the people. And I don't want to be condescending where I think they're stupid. But it's like, are they dumb? Mm -hmm. So they they, yeah. they see that everything has gone up in price, and, <clears throat> and Trump says he'll fix everything, and they listen to him, and and that's that's that. Well, that you know, that has to do with price gouging, and uh, well, that's something Trump's used to doing. You well, know. you know what? It has to it has to do with the fact of the the pandemic. The mm -hmm. pandemic, exactly. right? So what happened was there was a pent up demand after the pandemic. So prices, of course, they went up. Because manufacturing yeah. has to ramp back up and whatever. So that's what killed us. And so now that he's blaming that on Biden, and Biden has nothing to do with that. Yeah, they well, were fighting over paper towels, Len, over here. I remember when they were. Oh, people, people, have, people have very short memories. They don't remember yeah. that during this period of time, we had a thing called COVID. Yeah. Which completely undermined yeah. the economy in this country for quite a while. Completely. Mm -hmm. and well, that, and also Trump negotiated with uh, Russia and Saudi Arabia to raise gas to cut production, so sure. the gas prices went up just before Biden took office, well, and well, that yeah, and what? the inflation took off because mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. But gas so prices are down now. Yeah, every, I know. Every economic, every economic, so is everything else. Every economic <laughs> indicator is positive. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. gas prices are cheaper. Food yeah. prices are coming down. Although you know these guys were you know uh, raising the price on food, and it gets very hard to get them to drop it down once they got used to, go to making more money. I had to buy fast food today, which I rarely do because I went to visit my mother. Mm -hmm. And we just had nothing. I mean, just a couple of little things. And it was $27. I know. Are McDonald's you fucking kidding me? That's Are you hard. kidding me? I paid $12 Len, for a combo, chicken chow mein, fried rice. And I got an egg it's unbelievable. It wasn't oh. too bad. That, well, price. stop eating. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Stop eating. Just stop oh, eating. I, know how, I ate it before the whole thing started, Alex, because I knew I wouldn't be able to finish it, man. <laughs> I mean, eat this before it starts. Yeah, well, I, uh... if, if, and, if he, and if he puts these tariffs on that he wants to put on, we're yeah. boom, oh, boom. that's going to destroy the economy. Yeah, he's going to tax liquor right from Mexico. Jimmy yeah. Kimmel did a whole thing about how tequila <laughs> is going to be unaffordable yeah. now in this country. <laughs> Yeah. You, you want to see prices go up? Wait till uh -huh. he does that. No, well, no. Yeah. He, he he feels that uh, tariffs are going to solve everything. No. Oh, no. Geez. They solve right. nothing. No one's going to be able to get car stuff and all that again. You know, right. because right. I mean, and he Senate, been named Senate is president. now ten percent Democrat and ten percent Republican, and she is moving up on on NBC. Who yeah. Trump, is, What's Trump this? is not moving. No, I see that. No, he's not. Yeah, he's but... not moving. That I knew that was going to happen because they've hit the part of the country now where she's yeah. winning. That's right. Okay. Yeah, but all you people are talking so negative. It ain't over. Oh. 
I, yeah, yeah, it's 217 to 214. I hope you're right. It's 172 really to 214. So that's, uh, you yeah. know, she can catch that up. If she gets uh, Pennsylvania. She needs that. She gets yeah, Michigan. And Arizona. Or she gets Wisconsin. Or she gets oh, yeah, Arizona. Yeah. Let me see Arizona. She's in the game. Who the knows? Is only plus one right now. It was plus four a few months ago. What was plus one? For, for the Senate for the Republicans, it was plus four. Mm -hmm. Now it's only That's because Murray Cantwell won re-election in Washington. They've just projected that. Let's um, see so. here. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Arizona's Trump with a point one. Yeah, so that's real close. Yeah, that's close. Pennsylvania, yeah, she's not. Uh, not, not doing so good there. No, I'm so looking good. at it. Georgia, she's losing. Mm -hmm. well, a, lot these, a lot of these close ones. She's, she's doing good she's, in Virginia. Right? Yeah. 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 That just turned blue. Yes, it did. It's it? New York Times has Wait, 95 it's 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 got got one. Too, yeah. Wait a minute. It now says she's at 226. Yeah, he's at two. Oh, so they must have just called him. Wait a minute. Hold what on. What does they call? He, oh, it's this guy playing with his map. You know, oh, okay. I hate when they do that. Is that corn? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is the other guy. That's this corn is Tom, Cobby. This is Tom Yama. I yelled at TV. <laughs> Georgia. Uh, Trump 50.9 and her 48.2. Uh, it doesn't look like she'll win in Georgia. She'll, she'll come Keep close. Going, bitch. I don't know. She only won. Uh, Biden only won by eleven thousand votes last time. That's right. All I, I need I is eleven thousand votes. Ones. Give me eleven thousand votes and we'll win. Yeah, remember that one, man? <laughs> you fucking gangster. Yeah, I wish. Yeah. I wish on the maps it wouldn't keep going to all these different counties and saying how. I don't know what the. These counties are for just tell me how the state's going. Yeah, that's they're all trying to matters. show you. you see, uh, Charlie, they show you how they were projecting last time. Right, outperform. I'm looking at the big board. Is that what it is now? <laughs> no, that's what it was. Oh, come on, just geez, what is all this? Rudy, 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 your quarterback is out. I mean, it's it's um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's down by about 120,000 in Georgia. Or she's it's down not that bad, down. but yeah. Uh, what's your I, also, y'all got to keep in mind mm -hmm. that these really big, really blue Democratic counties, they take longer to get yeah. their, to, to yeah. close all their polls and get all their data in. Yeah. yeah. The more, yeah. more people, the longer it takes to count the vote. Right. Yeah, I'm starting to hope they cheat soon. I don't care how the hell they do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just get it done. I'm also sick and, <laughs> really? I'm sick and tired of well, how Biden did and how Trump did. And that yeah, forget about it. I don't want to know that. Just tell me what's some, going on now. We should have kept Biden in. Well, That's I've, I've got to <laughs> keep the, We should have kept him. You would have got I've some got more. I've got the NBC there. News <laughs> website up, and I'm on the, on the, on the map. Yeah, that's just it's just the map results map, and so well, listen, you're not whatever doing happens, any whatever happens, uh, she put on a good campaign. Yeah, she did. Uh, yeah. She brought a lot of hope to people, uh, which now I think may wind up getting ditched. It's going to turn to despair. It's going to turn to <laughs> despair. Yeah. 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 Where's that? Gavin didn't run. Yeah, I think yeah. Gavin Newsom would have won against Trump. I, I, think, oh, I don't think if he had a man, you would have beat this so. guy. I, I don't, don't think. I don't think Gavin Newsom would have won. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're from oh, Texas. You, you, he absolutely would have won. <laughs> I can't stand watching this again. Texas, He's got a lot of baggage from out here. Let me tell you. But, but he didn't do an insurrection. Every politician. <laughs> so does Kamala have a lot of baggage. Every, from every out politician here. who yeah. has been around for a while has baggage. Of course. Yeah. And and uh, they learn how to live with that baggage and how to turn it to their benefit. He's yeah. a smart yeah. guy. He would make Trump look dumb. Okay, he's a, he's a good, and he's a good guy. guy. And he makes Trump, Trump look dumb. And he's a good yeah. looking guy. Cool. You know? Trump, is, Trump made himself look dumb yeah. on a daily basis. <laughs> but he got uh, away with it, I guess, so far. Yeah, I I don't understand. How does he get away with it? That's what I don't understand. With with all know. those people from his own administration, yeah, nobody right. 
Yeah. His own vice. I've never seen that in my entire life yeah. where you yeah. had that yeah. many people from. From the he's own? unfit. He's unfit, and then but he's like, "Oh, we're still going to vote for him." My <laughs> vote for why? Who cares? Len, Len, you live in the Bay Area, don't you? I do. Okay, yeah, so do I. You know, um, you see these people walking around. I've seen them with, you know, I'm voting for the convicted felon. Oh, really? See. Yeah. <laughs> well, in your city, you do. In my city, we see more blue than red. Well, I was, well, I was here. I, I'm in Livermore. I don't know where you're at. But I know where you're at. You know where I'm so at. So, they had a uh, they had a rally out here this last weekend. My wife and I were going out for a drink at the winery, and there was a, a, a 500 trucks with Trump and the signs and the things. I'm like, what? What the? What are these people doing? The state's not going to go red. So what are you? What are you even bothering for? Yeah, you know? it was I, I don't should leave you, live, you live they right on the edge on of, yeah. of it turning red. If you go back into Pleasanton, one city to the west, it's yeah. mostly blue. Yeah, yeah. And if you go up north, I have friends that live in Vacaville on the way to Sacramento, and it goes from the Bay Area, and you go out of out of the Bay Area towards Vacaville, yeah. it all turns red. Yeah, yeah. Lo Lodi, the guys are with the big trucks with the big flags on the back, so obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it is. I don't like, get it. I, it's I like know. Nazi Germany when they're running around with these flags. It's just crazy. Yeah. Uh, they do the flags every year. That was she's the thing on in, Nazi Germany. Uh, she still lives in Michigan and Wisconsin. She's ahead yeah. in Minnesota. She finally got ahead in Minnesota, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she still lives in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's the big she's, one. She still lives in that's North big. Carolina. She still oh. lives in Georgia. What's still North what's Carolina the, in Pennsylvania? Was the North right Carolina hand? got called by Trump on mine? Yeah, me too. Oh, oh yeah, called for Trump? Yeah, What's going on with to, New England too, too and New York and New Jersey? Wait a minute, too close to call in Pennsylvania. All blue. <laughs> it's seventy nine percent in. Uh, it's uh, Donald Trump's ahead, but uh, they say it's too close to call. And it's too they close to call in Michigan. Maybe Klobuchar a winner in Minnesota, so we didn't lose that seat. <sighs> Thank okay. God. And how's Kamala doing in Minnesota? She's, she's just, winning. She's, okay. she's they, 55%. Too close to call, they're saying. 55, 55 to 42. How yes. can you have 91% yeah. in and it's too close to call? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because what? the places that have to come in yet are still, you know, big places. Yeah. What happened to Ohio? Because I think that went that uh, very red. Very oh, red. Trump awesome. and Sherrod Brown lost. Mm -hmm. We lost that okay. in Ohio. Uh, uh, Ohio was supposed to go red. Trump. Yeah, they were supposed to go for Trump, but Sherrod yeah. Brown was supposed to yeah. win. The, yeah. The, uh, uh, did Sherrod Brown win or lose? No. no. Lost. 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 They're, 89 percent in. They've called it for Marino. Yeah. Do you know yep. uh, who was who was another on our show? Andrew yeah. Deutsch uh, calls my yeah. my Monday show. Uh, bought a car once from Marino. And, That's right. And said he got ripped off. And apparently yep. it was a, a mess. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why he won. That's the best yeah. positive. Bob yeah. Casey, uh, too close to call in Pennsylvania. Yeah. That's, that's all. But yeah. he's not in the lead. That's not good. Yeah, he's it's forty seven point eight to fifty one point three in Pennsylvania right now. So. Well, then that who knows, you know. Well, there could be a yeah. chunk of, chunk of votes sitting out there they haven't done yet. Which on is how many percent? Did you guys hear him talk about the lines in uh, Pennsylvania at the at the university in Lehigh? Yeah. It's like seven hours long. Wow. Mm. How many times did you go through it? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Once. Right. It's like Disneyland almost. I yeah. Think. Well, it's funny. The only time you ever have lines like that are in the Democratic areas. Yeah. Usually. In universities. Yeah. Well, well you yeah. know, I'll tell you something. Uh, and I think there's nobody here who's going to disagree with this. We we got to do something about that. Uh, the... the um, uh, electoral the, college. The electoral college. This whole idea about the 
uh, you know, these, the, these five states, <clears throat> the seven states, um, you know, they call the must-win states or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's absurd that my mm -hmm. life should be determined by what some asshole <laughs> in Arkansas thinks, you no. know. Yeah. You know, what gets me is the way both the Electoral College and the Senate work. People like you in New York or me in Texas or all the Californians, you know, it, our votes are, they get about seven to one in Montana and Wyoming. Yeah. Their votes count seven times more. Same number of senators, yes. Yeah, same right. number of senators, the right. Electoral College, their votes count more than ours. Right. If anybody yeah. wants some fresh coffee uh, cake, I made it, and I also have extra Norco <laughs> pills. <laughs> they just dropped on the floor. I'm okay. Yeah, you said okay. Montana. Okay. Montana's definitely red, right? Because they yeah. were talking about how it's yeah, always yeah. red, Montana. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But, uh, the, but they've uh, only got three electoral Yeah, Tester. Parties. Yeah. That testers, yeah. um, it's too early to call uh, with only 8% in, but Tester is definitely losing by a lot right now. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, we could, yeah. we could have a very red Senate, and if Trump is the president, mm. yeah. that oh, is in the Senate, bad right? news. Yep. It, that didn't work so, it, it didn't work so well for him in 2016, though. He had control of the House and the Senate, and he still yeah. couldn't get shit passed. No. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Come on Indeed. over. You can have it with the Vicodin. It always goes good with a Vicodin. Did you guys hear that, that I saw one senator, I think he was winning earlier. His last name was White House. Really? Oh, Sheldon Whitehouse. Yeah, I love Sheldon. Yeah. I love Sheldon House. Whitehouse. That's a great I last name. I love Sheldon Whitehouse. <laughs> he, is, he is actually stellar. Really? He is fantastic. Yes, he is. You know, the uh, popular vote is getting oh, yeah, There he is right there. Yeah, yeah it's only, yeah. only 5 million separation of popular vote. Yeah, but that's when you got to lose that in California alone. Oh, well, she's mm -hmm. she's now at 116 uh, in... in uh, in, in the in the electoral college, and he's still two, at two sixteen. He said, "No, two sixteen, two sixteen. She's at two sixteen. One sixteen. Here it says uh, here, 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 on my here, thing. On my TV I'm watching said, NBC News. Maybe it's oh, I am. It says one. I'm on Yahoo. Two thirty. <laughs> oh well, maybe I'm in the. Oh, I'm on YouTube. I got to get out of that. <laughs> yeah, get out of it. That's the Just twenty twenty. The, you can go to the NBC News." Uh, web dot com okay, website. She took, she took Minnesota. Get it live. Looks like. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Too Minnesota. close to call. Too close to call. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's she's what got Minnesota. Wait a minute. Too close up. to call. She's got fifty three percent, and he's got forty four. Yeah. yeah. It, but it's only it. fifty two percent in. Oh it's yeah, all, the whole country is fifty two percent. I saw them. Yeah. Listen, with California, they called it for Kamala Harris with no votes in. <laughs> Ten o'clock on the dot. California was on that. <laughs> but California for Harris. An easy one. Well, they, uh, 27, 27% of California is in. 59 for Harris, 38 for him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, they, uh, you know. Okay. I think California should secede from the union. Oh, they just yes. saw North Carolina for Trump. Oh, Adam well, Schiff. The, Adam the, Schiff. The Republicans no. put no. secession in their platform in Look, Texas here, here this year. Go. Here you go. Utah with zero in. The projected winner is Donald Trump. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 how are they running this? Are they doing, uh, are they, have they got like a person with a crystal ball or something? Who? Well, no, uh, it's probably. Exit polling. There's also uh, like early vote. And uh, early voting and mail-in ballots, the things that have already been counted prior to today. Yeah, but it said zero percent in. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I got understand. 1%, yeah. But that's not that's the precincts yeah. closing their offices and and yeah. turning the stuff in. What what 
like gets posted of 5, right votes at at, at close is stuff that's already counted. Utah. So <laughs> so you know you you could have zero percent in in Texas. But all of the early vote gets posted right when they close polls. Mm -hmm. Adam Schiff is beating a Steve Garvey. Thank God. I hate, hate Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the Dodgers. I hate that guy. Oh, I see. They, uh, they called Virginia for, um, for Kamala. So yes, the they did. Has 230 to 200. Yeah, ooh. Virginia for who? 230 to 205. I got her at 205 to 230 yeah. right now. Yeah. Trump has West Virginia, though. Uh, yes. And By a lot. Oh, yeah. A little closer. That's because he's bringing back the coal mines again or something. Well, you know you know what the scariest part of this whole thing is? If, if, like if she, she keeps saying, I'm not going to do it. But it's the Project 2025 thing. That's scary. Oh, yeah. God. No, don't say that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Don't remind oh, yeah. me. <laughs> and, and all... All those people that were in place to stop him before will be yeah, gone. They're not they're gone. there now. He's going to put in all his little lackeys and he's going all to be all awesome. psychopaths. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, Stephen people. Miller, and I hate to tell all these, uh, all these naturalized immigrants that voted for Trump, but he yeah. don't care. They're going to unnaturalize you and yeah. deport you anyway. Yeah. Yep. yeah. They aren't gonna, even going to care. Get them out. Yep. They're and leaving on the first Supreme day. Court will let them. And then we're going to watch the fruit uh, die on the vine. <laughs> oh, we're going to see a lot of things happen. I mean, you're going to be yeah. taking... How about all the taxes these people are paying? Right. Right? right. Goodbye. Remember Goodbye. people that were supposed to be here Billions got of deported. Dollars. Yeah. yeah. Remember the yeah. pizza guy that wasn't even illegal and all that stuff, and he got deported? And yeah. they had to bring him back or something, yeah. Yeah, but you know, know, it'll be um, worse. The final, last big thing that happened in the campaigns was the big deal over Peanut the Squirrel. Oh, oh I, yeah, saw yeah. That. I can't believe that. You saw that. Now, of course, it was I, wrong. I missed this. It was wrong to take Peanut the Squirrel, this guy, squirrel this guy's owned for seven he, he years and has squirrel. trained. To do all kinds of things, and, and they, grabbed, they grabbed, they grab the, uh, they grab the uh, squirrel, and yep. uh, he bit a officer, so they yeah. euthanized yep. him, and yep. so now the Republicans are making that into a big deal. No. You know, I, the officer? I, I, it was rabies I must, because of rabies I must, or something. I must, I must have missed all of this. Yeah, well, yeah. the guy, the guy who had the, today, the yeah. guy who had the, the squirrel said he's been bitten hundreds of times by the squirrel, and he's yet to get rabies. Okay, so why didn't they ask him? They're mm. eating the squirrels. They're eating the squirrels. <laughs> you know, I've eaten squirrel before. I, you know, it, it, in, in southeast Texas in particular, they're big into hunting, and they go squirrel hunting. I do, too. I did, too. There's meat, There's meat on that thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes it's like, like chicken. Tastes like yes. chicken. That's what I've always heard. Yeah. It it tastes chicken is good. It's like a little chicken. bitty bitty bird. Yeah. But anyway, so I might wonder after they killed the squirrel if they ate him. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. They're not bad. <laughs> Only in Sarah Palin. Yeah, really not bad? Not bad. I've had it. Yeah. I've shot them. I've skinned them. I ate them. Wow. Nice. Matter of fact, I got some out in my yard right now. I'd like to shoot and kill and eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're all walking around with Trump signs in your yard. They <laughs> I'm gonna there's there's some oh, Trump no, signs down the street from me. I want to just go kick the shit out of that thing. Well, the big question I gotta ask everybody is if Trump wins this one, what are you all gonna do about it? Oh God. Make a what lot of money. Be? That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I, I, I agree I with you, do. Scott. I think the stock market's going to go up. It's going to blow up, baby. Hey, Tony, you Tony, do. you still have more uh, Trump Trump co comics? Yeah, I got a ton of them. Oh, man, you're going to make some bank. <laughs> yeah, oh, that could be the silver lining. You can pay my, uh, <laughs> my uh, cable bill. Did, I, you I know, I'm Did you guys see that fake Melania that was standing by him today? What was that? What do you mean? Did the, you see that? What do you mean the fake? I was not did. Melania. 
I, didn't I don't that. think so either. What, when he now, went, she, what? she had these dark glasses on. You couldn't see her eyes, but it did not look like her. No. It, this it was O.J. Simpson. Wait a minute. Is this the woman that went with him when he voted? Yeah. 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 Could it be Lori yeah. Loomer? That yeah, that's a, a good close look. I bet it was Laura Loomer. She's oh, a, a comedian. No, she's okay. That's a comedian, right? No, no she's like a conspiracy theorist. Oh, oh. He couldn't afford the Melania appearance fee, so it gets <laughs> she's, she's as flat. She is as wacky as our flat earther here in Denton. Oh yeah, she's off half a buck short. Hey, do you, oh, you want to? She's, she's like Eric Dubé. Hold on a second. Yep. Yes, Brian. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a possum right out my window, and my cat's freaking out. Oh, I got a gun. Yeah. I'll come get him. Yeah, so do I. Run over him with oh, yeah, two or three I just saw him. I just saw him there for a I second. I could be there in two yeah. hours. Oh, their eyes glow. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I think I see him. Yeah. Who cares about all this county wow. by county stuff? Is that good eating? <laughs> I've never well, I eaten possum. Uh, yeah, I've ask, never eaten possum. What it take? Well, Scott's never eaten sure it, good. so I wouldn't try it. Well, we <laughs> <didn't> grow anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Funny. In Louisiana, in southern Louisiana, they eat nutria. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's well, a, it's you, a... you eat some nutria in Plano, Amy. Do? <laughs> oh, d down the creek from where we used to live, nutria uh -huh. all over the place, and they look like they look like beaver, but they got rat tails. Really freaky. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh God, really? disgusting! <laughs> I don't like rat tails. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, tomorrow we start packing, I guess, and uh, we're gone on on Thursday for a, about a week. Mm -hmm. and, Keep a key under the mat. I'll be up. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Be my guest. You know, uh, I will call you. There's all plenty of room for all of us in that apartment, Alex. But so. we've really, we've really got to think seriously about maybe moving out of the country for a while. You know, yeah. I don't want to be here for the carnage. Well, you can go to Puerto Rico. Trump doesn't consider that part of the country, right? Yeah. right. Yeah, and you get you get free uh, uh, paper towels when you go there too. So. That's right. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, and they were saying this. The Hispanic, this Puerto Ricans were voting for him. The guy who they were saying, and like, it, oh, they don't even care. They insult. They got insulted. Yeah. Him. That's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Well, I don't know. maybe it, maybe. It's not Hmm? They probably don't even know about it. it. <laughs> it's not. It's not even just that. If you go back to the response to Hurricane Maria, Trump actually withheld millions mm -hmm. of dollars yep. Yep. from uh, Puerto Rico for yeah. the rebuild. Yep. Lin Manuel Miranda and J Lo and Mark Anthony oh, had to raise right. money. Yeah. yeah they well, all the was a lot they had to give money or you know they, they Puerto had, they, Rico. They, wait a minute let let, they, let let charlene finish what she was saying oh sorry no i heard about that like uh any like rap guys that were hispanic from puerto rico or something big joe maybe i think or something they all had to go there personally and give money to puerto rico because uh they couldn't get anything out of the government you know well, but they, does that have to do with them being like the 51st uh well they're not the 51st state they're the commonwealth right is there, you know if they would become a state they would have gotten money or something isn't that true? But because they should have got no even as a as a territory they should get money. They should they're get money. The United States. They're, they're Americans. Yeah. They're yeah. Americans. They are. Yeah, they're yeah. considered Americans. Yeah. No, Trump specifically, and the only reason he would give money to um, California for the wildfires was because people in his administration showed him, look, all this area voted for you. Mm -hmm. Part of that was burning, right? Yeah, the part yeah, that the was fire burning. Was there, yeah. That was, uh, um, yeah, so he's, they, he has a history. I don't understand. I don't understand how this country's voting him in. All new battleground is plus for, for, uh, for, uh, Trump. Well, the only one they gave is on North Carolina. Yeah. Yep, North Carolina. Well, let's see. Uh, uh, Trump took the battle. It looks like he's taking the battleground slowly but surely. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well. So you know, well, that's it. You know what I was. Yes. Gonna, you know what I was going to say. What I think, and maybe oh. I, I don't want to sound selfish, 
But all these people who are voting for him, and then you hear them saying on the news, oh, well, food prices are so high. And it's like Lenin, all you were saying because of COVID and stuff like that. So, I mean, to tell me, because the food's a little high for a year or two, we'll vote a dictator in. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's so selfish. Well, people, yeah, you know, I, people do vote with their stomachs and uh, with their family's best interests and so on. Yeah. And uh, it... You but know, is he the guy to, to give it to? They, they he, have he, a false memory of what it was like before the pandemic. Right. They, they, they believe they, what he they, says. You yeah. know, I, I, the one point she never made was that tr Donald Trump was responsible for the death of over a million people in this country. Right. I say, tell my mother. That's because what I of the say. way he handled COVID. Neither one of them talked much about COVID. And she never brought that up. And That's she a good point. Have. She should have brought that up. You know. That That's how they got elected. That's how you won the last election. You know, get a little yeah. mean and say Donald Trump murdered over a million people by his ineffectiveness as president. He couldn't handle a situation that was handed to him that he had to deal with. You know. Well, he shut down the pandemic response uh, department. Mm -hmm. A year before the pandemic. Well, it, it turns out that Obama left him a game yeah. plan for a pandemic, right, right. and he and threw it out. Back they, back didn't even, they didn't even pay attention to it. Well, because it was Obama. You know, the, the, the smart colored man can't tell me what to do. I got to take his name off of uh, the health care bill. He's got such a heart on for people. Yeah. When he has no reason to have be yeah. I mean, he has a hard on against Obama because he went to the correspondence dinner, and because it's a roast, he roasted Donald Trump. Yeah, and Look Donald Trump you. can't take a joke, and know? he is a joke. Yeah, something like that. It Let's really, all hope he goes in his sleep tonight and doesn't wake up. We got Vance then. Yay. Yeah, yeah, great. Then, then well, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, Vance is worse. I think he's going to be running the country right, anyway. This guy's so loopy, Trump. Here's Trump's the he's terrible thing I have to say to you, Charlie. I don't think Vance is worse. I don't think there's anything worse than Trump. I agree with you, Alex, on that. You know, I, I agree I, with you that he's going to be pretty terrible, but he's not worse than Trump. Yeah. I NBC agree. is saying that they think Kamala is going to win uh, Georgia. How? No way. It's been going back and forth then. They just she's want winning, now she's losing. Mailing. Mailing. I don't know. She could be behind in the boat, but we're still waiting for all those suburbs of Atlanta to come in. So well, on my computer, it says 93% of the vote is in, in Georgia right now. He's up 50.8 to 40. Yeah, but they haven't counted yeah. Atlanta, like Charlie said. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, like I said, all of those very uh, urban, suburban places. <laughs> The, those are the last to come in because where there's more people, it takes longer to get yep. that in. Yeah. Wasn't there 160 million votes cast in 2020? Something like that. Oh, yeah. He had 75 yep. million Biden. I think I'm, Trump I'm, had 70. 75 million. I'm, do, I'm doing the math here. And so far, that there's 116 million cast at 56% of the expected vote, which means there's going to be 200 million yeah. votes cast. Is yeah, so he kind of claims since he got more votes than he did in 2020, he should be the winner. Yeah, he's going to come out at 2 o'clock tonight <laughs> in the morning, Charlie, again, like he did last year. Really funny. Yeah. That's yeah. the fourth winner, I see. Well, everybody, everybody. Oh, is it coming? Oh, no, Alex. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, we've, been, we've been having so much fun having this uh, depressing party. Are you going to be on tomorrow here. night? No. no, I'm not hey. going to be on tomorrow night. No, oh, I, won't, okay. I won't. But there's, I will. There's no reason to be on. Oh, you will, Amy? Oh, okay. I'll call you, Amy. I, can, I need some. Yeah. Can, join, join my program. At midnight, Amy? Yeah. At uh, midnight, your you're, time. You're 11 o'clock Central, uh, 9 o'clock Eastern. West Coast. Yeah. But it's not big, tonight. Anyway, uh, thank you so much to uh, Richard Braun for being here tonight. And thanks to Charlie Wallace and Len LaFrisco. Nice to have you on the night show. Uh, thank you. Uh, Brian, great to see you here. Jeff Stein, great to see you. Scott Boddicker, sorry you live in Texas. Uh, Charlene <laughs> Martinez, thank you. Thank you to Alan and to Amy. Thank you, Amy. We really appreciate it. And Tony, 
Why doesn't everybody kind of give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get together again uh, when? Oh, in about a week. I'll be back uh, on Thursday night uh, about a week from now. So uh, that will be our, if we come back. We don't see any reason to. Anyway, that's it for tonight. See you then. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.